Hello and welcome to the video presentation of our paper titled Simultaneous Enhancement and Super Resolution of Underwater Imagery for Improved Visual Perception. In this paper, we introduce the problem of perceptually enhanced image generation at higher spatial scales. We call it Simultaneous Enhancement and Super Resolution, in short SESR. We demonstrate its utility for underwater robot vision and provide an efficient solution for near real-time applications. This is particularly interesting for underwater imagery as they often suffer from range and wavelength dependent nonlinear optical distortions. Therefore, detailed scene understanding by image super resolution techniques are ineffective as they only amplify the noise and distortions within the low resolution measurements. Hence, restoring perceptual image qualities is essential for robust underwater visual perception. However, separate processing of the visual data for enhancement and super resolution is computationally too expensive for single board robotic platforms. We attempt to address these issues by presenting Deep SESR a generative model that can learn to restore perceptual image qualities up to 4x higher resolution. We designed an end-to-end -end training pipeline for the model to jointly learn SCSR and saliency prediction on a shared feature space. Deep SCSR incorporates a novel residual and residual feature extraction network named FENET for learning hierarchical features that are propagated to sequential cone layers and upsampling layers for the high-resolution SCSR output. We explicitly forced the first cone layer following FENET to learn enhancement by an intermediate output layer. In addition, we exploit the FENET extracted features to learn saliency prediction by an auxiliary attention network on a separate branch as shown here. Now let's take a closer look at the FANET architecture. The building blocks of FANET are residual dense box, known as RDB, which are three-layer ResNets with dense skip connections. FANET uses three sets of RDBs for a two-stage residual and residual learning as shown here. The motive for such a design is to have the capacity to learn locally dense features while still maintaining a globally shallow architecture for fast feature extraction. We call this default design as FANET 2D. We can also use only one of the parallel branches named FANET 1D which provides over 12% faster inference with a slight compromise in performance. Deep SESR is supervised with a linear combination of 9 loss terms. At the high resolution SESR output, we apply a color loss based on partial disparities in RGB space and a standard content loss on VGT19 space. Also, we use an image gradient based sharpness loss on L1 space. We apply the content loss on low resolution enhancement output layer as well. Additionally, we use a chrominance specific function based on underwater color degradation characteristics as the perceptual color loss. Finally, we use the standard cross entropy function for the loss in saliency prediction. We further exploit the saliency output to quantify contrast loss based on the relative strength in foreground pixels by using the notion of contrast measurement index. A detailed interpretation of these loss terms and their learning behaviors are provided in the paper. For data preparation, we use high-resolution natural underwater images which we collected by oceanic explorations in multiple locations. We also collected high-resolution images of diverse scenes and water bodies from online media resources such as YouTube and Flickr. Then we followed standard procedures for optical and spatial image degradations and used human-level saliency maps to create pair training data. We released the compiled dataset named UFO120 for academic research purposes. We used TensorFlow Keras libraries to implement the training pipeline of Deep SCSR and its variants. Since there are no existing SCSR methods, we evaluate and compare the Deep SCSR performance separately with state-of-the-art image enhancement and super-resolution models on UFO120 and other standard large-scale datasets. First, we show some qualitative examples of perceptual enhancement on Deep SCSR generated images. As seen, the greenish underwater hue is rectified, pixel colors are mostly restored, and the global image sharpness is improved. Moreover, the generated saliency map suggests that it focused on the right foreground regions for contrast enhancements. By a series of performance comparison with state-of-the-art enhancement and super-resolution models, we demonstrate that Deep SESR generates considerably better quality images in terms of color, contrast, and sharpness for up to 4x higher spatial resolution and at a significantly faster inference rate than existing solutions. We also validate its generalization performance on several test cases that include naturally distorted underwater images and also terrestrial images with unseen natural objects. A comprehensive quantitative analysis and benchmark performance evaluations are provided in the paper. Lastly, we demonstrate its utility on naturally distorted underwater images and analyze its computational feasibility for robotic deployments. Deep SESR offers specific design choices for enhancement, saliency prediction, and super resolution and offers 8 to 10 frames per second runtimes on single board computers with only 10 megabytes of memory requirements. The inspiring performance, computational efficiency, and the availability of task specific design choices make Deep SESR suitable for near real time use by visually guided underwater robots. Please visit our project website for more information about Deep SESR learning. We conclude by acknowledging the support of our research sponsors. Thank you.